Banner Station. As we get closer, um, you can see the smoke from the World Trade Center um, wreckage. As we get in, you can see some of the wreckage close up. You can see that the surrounding building right here is totally, totally wrecked and totally beaten up. Um, I think we might get a little bit... This is the wall that everybody's been talking about, of things that commemorate, that re remember people. Like right here, this, this is a picture of a man who purposely died in the attack. And um, right here is a picture of a man who most likely died in the attacks also. All these things, this is, this is the wall of things that commemorate people who died in the September 11th attack. This is a list of policemen and firefighters and lieutenants and captains, people who have died. Firefighter, 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 people who have died trying to save other people. I mean, I mean, look at this, look at this. This is, this is, look at all those people who died and then all these names. This is something else you might find on this wall is um, the name, the, the specific name of someone who died trying to save someone else's life. This is just like a little, little place covered in rubble and pieces of papers, little notes. Uh, from office documents such as like um, right there is one one note right there, and, there. Um, and all around there's just a lot of rubble in this whole yard this is another view of the rubble um, all around I'm gonna get a little bit closer I think I'm gonna ask a police I'm gonna interview a policeman about what he knows about the wreckage. All right. Um, too bad on Thanks, this is Officer Conley, and he's gonna try to answer some of my questions. Um, you know what they're gonna do with the space after after they have uh, cleared it away? I'm not aware. Okay. Um, have you ever been down to Ground Zero? This is Ground Zero. Yes. But I mean, like. Under I've been close, but not actually in the hole, no. Around. What was it like? Uh, overwhelming. It was very, it was uh, very, very sad. Yep. Um, are, are you from New York yourself? Yes, I am. I uh, live in Grove, Queens. Oh, you do? Um, were you here the day of September 11th? No, I was off. You were off? What were you doing the day of September 11th? I was with my wife in an office getting a sonogram. For our baby. And what what happened when you heard about that? At first, I thought it was a small plane, but then uh, when I got out in the car and turned on the news, it was that it was a big plane. Then another plane. Were you Panagon. shocked or what? I was, yeah, I was shocked. My last question: Do you have any friends that died or or yes, anything I do. Like that you do? My old partner became a fireman. He died. Michael L. Ferris. Oh, I'm sorry. God bless him. Ask him what his middle name is. Okay, get this guy on camera too. Thank you. Oh, no, Thank, you. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Okay, goodbye. No Thank you. The last picture of Grand Zero that I'm going to show. And here's a huge piece of rubble that was taken from Grand Zero. but I just couldn't help showing that. And people are so good here. They're showing American flags all over the place. And that's it. Filming by Brad Neal, December 16th, 2001.